So we have a brand new course in Bogey's Bonanza. And as with all new courses, we have both a fox hunt on the hard course and the easy course has 18 lost balls to find. So here we are in this cowboy and mining themed environment. Let's go to hole one and find our first ball. So for hole one, as you look out from the tee, you want to turn to your left and head over towards this cart. And just underneath, you can probably see it there, is our very first lost ball. On to hole two. And as we look out from the start, we want to head over towards the cup. And in this corner just here, if you look down, you can see our second lost ball. Each time you pick one up, you will see on the scoreboard a little tick under the hole. That's how you can keep track of which ones you've found. So next up is hole three. As we look out towards the hole, we want to turn left. And over on the left is a little campfire. And there is the third ball. On we go to hole four. For this one here, you want to uh, take the pathway over to the other side of the water. And just a few planks from the end, you can see on the left there is the lost ball. Onwards to hole five. This one took a little bit longer to find. As we look out straight ahead, you've got the tree in the middle of your view. So you want to go to the other side of this tree and then turn back and you can see tucked away is our Canada ball. For hole number six, you want to follow the green along. And as you go just beyond the cup, you can see a barrel. So beyond the barrel, in that uh, set of sticks, quite a cool design, is the Lost Ball. Now for hole seven, we enter the mine. So. Looking straight ahead, you can see a light hanging on that beam. Just behind the beam is our pride ball. So that's number seven. The next one inside the mine is hole eight. And as you start at the top, you'll actually need to make your way down to the green for this one. So if you take the walking route, you've got the steps here, which leaves you your green on the right hand side. You may see the ball already, but we'll come back to that. So you've got the green on the right, turn to the left, just under that skillet is our ball. So now the final hole inside the mine is hole nine, and this completes the front nine. So from the start, you want to go beyond these chutes and take the stairs down to the green. The green has these two piles of gold, but we want to go beyond that, just to the left, into this darker corner. And you can probably see it down there. There is ball number nine. So next we start the back nine holes with number 10 and we're now out of the mine. So we're on the rail track if we go all the way along to the very end. And then once you reach the flag, you want to turn to your right and there's a set of trees. If you go towards those, just behind one of them is our horseshoe ball.
On we go to hole 11. This one is not really connected directly with the hole itself, so you want to take the stairs down and look to your right. In those sticks you can see our ball. So now we come to hole 12, which is probably the hardest ball to find, um, at least on this course, maybe so far in the game. So there's been a lot of questions about this one. So here we go. Make your way down towards the flag. And you, once you've got all the way down, you actually need to go beyond the hole. And what makes this tricky is that the ball is the same color as your surroundings. So we've come down here, start your journey as if you're going towards the next hole and then turn back. And in this corner down here, the same color as the surroundings, is this sandstone ball or wooden ball. So now we go to hole 13. Again, if you take the walking route, so turn back from the tee, take these steps down and you're heading into the carriage that's attached to the train that's become derailed. You've got these hay bales on your left, and there is our ball. So five left to go, onto hole 14. We've got the revolver hole. For this one, you want to turn right from the hole and head towards these two steps that lead into the saloon. And if you look underneath the bottom step on the right hand side is our colour block ball. So for hole 15 we're heading into the saloon. Take a moment to enjoy this hole, there's no need for rush in this one. Maybe even take a moment to have a quick go on the piano. That was a nice feature for them to put in. And underneath the piano is our ball. So staying inside the saloon, next we have hole 16, and this is upstairs. So we're looking towards this safe with the gold bars spilled out. And if we turn backwards from the tee, we've got a door behind us. So you need to go around to the back of this door and hiding down there is our next ball. Two more left now, and the penultimate ball is found on hole 17. So looking at the sharpshooter, if we go beyond him and beyond the cup, you can see this ax on a tree block. You need to go beyond that and turn backwards and you can see just down there is the sheriff ball. That's probably one of my favorites on this course too. And finally, hole 18. This one, I do admit, took me a little bit of time to find. Starting from the tee, you want to look towards the end of the hole and start making your way over. Just come off the left hand side of the green and turn back and one of these support pegs you can see the first one there has the ball tucked away behind it and i think this one's a skull design there we go so that's our 18 balls you can now see the scorecard is fully ticked off if you're not sure which ones you haven't found you can just look for which tick is missing and go to that hole specifically and of course, now we get to enjoy watching the balls come through. So thanks for watching. I hope this has been some help. I'm sure a lot of you came here for hole 12. So if you've stayed to the end, thanks for watching all the way through. Don't forget to like the video if it was helpful. Drop me a comment if you've got any questions. And please do subscribe to the channel for future content. 
thank you and I look forward to seeing you on the greens.